YouTube was good. It's your boy, Leron Poe and Ponder, and I'm back with another video. Please come in, thumbs up this video, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification, hit all notifications so you have my videos in your possession each and every time I go live or I do uploads. I hope all of y'all doing well. It's Saturday evening. Please make sure that you support this channel. The cash app is on the screen. That is dollar sign potent pondering, never pandering, never what? Pan handling. So listen, um, the first thing I want to get into, I want to share this with y'all really quick from the neighborhood talk. Now, how are you, what type of person are you? Do you enjoy rides at the amusement park? Me personally, I go to the amusement park for some rides I do like, like the go-karts and I do like bumper cars and all that, but I don't get on rides at all. This has always been my personality since I was younger. When I go to the amusement park, I get the fried dough, I get the food, and that's what I get. I don't enjoy rides. Well, they said, oh, hell no. 28 people, including an eighth grade class, rescued after Oregon amusement park malfunctions, leaving them upside down for an hour and a half. Could you imagine being upside down for an hour and a half? Don't they say your, your blood can rush to your brain and all that? I don't know what happened with this. I don't want to play the audio, but I just want to ask you, do you ride? Do you get on rides at the amusement park? Um, I just don't. I like to be in control. I don't even like to really get on an airplane, but I like to be in control. And I just think like, that's crazy. That's going to be a lawsuit. Let me tell you something. A lawsuit is, is definitely going to come from this situation right here because being left upside down for an hour and a half, mm, I'm pretty sure with so many confusions and contusions, you know what I'm saying? So anyway, let's move on. I want to talk about this real quick. So uh, Youngberg was speaking to Youngberg was speaking with uh, academics, right? And he said that Drea Michelle, he alleges that she gave Diddy a... He, she gave Diddy a hand job um, while he was there to meet with him about something. And Cassie was also in the house. Now, let me just tell you this. Um, I do believe this because I because because Dre is flirtatious. Come on. I'm not judging her because she had a baby by a 21 year old and she's 40 years old. It's inappropriate. But Dre is flirtatious. You know what I'm saying? Flirtatious. T-H-O-T-A-C-I-O-U-S. She's not tatious. I know you know what I mean. So I believe that it did happen. I mean, unfortunately, when your reputation leans a certain type of way, when somebody say anything about you, it's easy to believe. Now, it's possible it didn't happen, but I am definitely leaning on that it did happen. Um, what do you think about that, though? I don't think that it's anything. I don't people in the comments saying that, you know, oh, they gossiping or whatever the case may be. It is what it is. I don't think, listen, people have accepted that she's had a baby by a 21-year-old. You see most women in the comments cheering her on and just like the young Miami and Carisha thing because she was getting the damn allowance. But then look what happened upside down with Diddy in the situation. Now young Miami out here trying to rebuild. Now she's trying to rebuild her brand and can't fuck with me. These oh can't fuck with you. These and they ain't go nowhere because they don't want the, it got Diddy stains all over. It's seedy. That's what it is. It's seedy. Listen, you let me know. You let me know. Do you think that that's going to impact Drea? Do you think that young Miami was the same after her affiliation with Diddy? You know what I'm saying? I don't think that she's been the same. And then also in other Diddy news, they're saying that Diddy gave his key back. So reportedly, Diddy returns his key to New York City after Mayor Adams asked for, asked for it back being, by being deeply disturbed by the video of Cassie where he was beating Cassie down. Now, um... Of course he was going to return it. You know what I'm saying? Now he don't got the, he don't got the key to the city no more. That's that's supposed to be an honor. So of course they're going to ask for the key to be returned. You know. And actually, what is going on in the world of Diddy news? It's like it seems like it's kind of slow. Are they still trying to build a case? Is he secretly fighting things behind the scenes? Possibly snitching on people? You know that they said that Diddy Diddy was a federal agent. So it's just interesting to see that. You know, why hasn't there been any official arrests made or anything like that? You know what I'm saying? Get in the comments. You let me know how you feel about that and all that. I want the next thing I want to bring up, and this ties into Nicki Minaj, right? B I G L A T T O Lotto. She's back testing a new song, right? Now, when Sexy Red dropped her newest mixtape, I was gonna say it then, but it was kind of like I just made a mental note of it. Sexy Red had a song on there for her birthday, right? You already know where I'm going with it. Nikki fans, type in the comments right now. You already know where I'm going with it, right? Now, I want to say this and, and state this. Nicki Minaj did not create making birthday songs. 
but you have to emit a wave that is followed after one person does it, right? Let me tell you the, the marketing behind a birthday song or whatever, because every day is somebody's birthday. People will stream your song because it's a birthday and it's just like every day is people's birthday. It's not just one time of the year, like it's New Year's, Christmas or Mother's Day, where you see every time Dear Mama by Tupac, every Mother's Day that song goes up, right? So I know this first because, you know, today is your day, is your day, happy pink birthday. Oh, they wanted a piece of that. The rap girls had to have a piece of it, so they wanted a birthday song. So it's kind of like when Cardi came back and she see how Nicki was effing the club up with, with the eff the club up, fuck the fuck the club. She had to try to come with, you, you, you know, you been. she had to try to get in the club, but the club ain't rubber dub. You know what I'm saying? So Sexy Red had that song, it's my birthday. It's my birthday. I kind of like sexy, sexy red song. It's a little ratchet, you know what I'm saying? And then look at this right here with B I G L T T O. Check this out a few seconds. Give for my birthday. What do I give for my birthday? What do I give for my birthday? What do I? What do I give for my birthday? What do I give for my birthday? Bur everybody on this birthday, 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 birthday. Everybody on the blood clot birthday. Everybody on the blood clot birthday. And she in the car with her sister. Singing a birthday, what do you get for my birthday? What do you get for my birthday? I don't think it sounds bad. All I'm telling you is the marketing behind it. Ever since Pink Pink um sings Pink Birthday, everybody blood clot birthday song, everybody, everybody birthday song. Come on, you know that I'm not bugging. So it's like, not only is Nikki a trendsetter in her right when it comes to like. Her music. Hold on a second. Give me one second. I want to take this down because I want you to feel me. Nikki is a trendsetter because you want to know what? And I'm going to be completely honest and transparent with you right here. This is a reason why I get mad at Azalea Banks, but she's created so much history in my life as far as music that I like her because she's an alternative to Nikki. I don't feel like when I listen to her, it's like all of these girls have the same strategy and they want to be like Nikki. They come in, they try to dress sexy, wear these wigs and do stuff like that. They want to spit, they want to spit metaphors and just do the same thing that Nikki does. Now, Azalea Banks, now, even though I don't think it's boring or whatever, she was just like, I don't do just metaphors. She said this years ago. She said, to me, that's boring. She was like, I like to rap, you know, different patterns and, you know, different things like that. I can't remember what she said verbatim, but I respect her music because when I'm when I'm in her music, it doesn't remind me of Nicki. You got even the slowest one, Cardi B, trying to make it seem like she's spitting metaphor and those coming from the balls of a black man, the balls, the, the baseline of a black man. You understand what I'm saying? So it's like, I, I respect Azalea because it's just like I can get a different type of world when I'm listening to her music. So it's like when it comes to Lotto, all of these girls copy. So they copy in the metaphors. They copy in the, the looks because Cardi from the wigs, you know, the, the stylist, 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 copy, copy, copy. You copy Nikki closely. So it can't be said that she did it first and she's the one who sewn it up, even when it came to the inches. Right. So it's like now they copy in the song strategy. So Nikki came with Pink Birthday, happy pink birthday, happy pink birthday. Not a blood clot, sexy red. You know, I ain't going to go hard on sexy. Get it sexy. I ain't going to go hard on sexy because I respect her. She from the hood or whatever. But don't think I ain't see it. I made a mental note when she did it. Now Lotto is out with a birthday song. Don't go up my booty hole. Come on. Tell me that you ain't peeped that. Don't go up my booty. Come on. So listen, that's all I'm saying when it comes to these rap girls. They follow Nikki in several ways from the metaphor wanting to spit from just things are gone. Things are gone. You know what I'm saying? So listen, the last thing, let's actually get into Nicki Minaj. So Nikki posted up with her baby Papa Bear, right? Um, so she posted some pictures and this is when Nikki was in Paris, right? And a lot of people was trying to say like, oh, cause you know, it seemed like Nikki was over there. Who knows if she'd been smoking the blunt or she had a few drinks. She did seem a little inebriated or whatever. Right. But she was over there having a good time and people were so quick to judge and jump to the like, oh, Nikki this, Nikki that. Piggyback, put piggyback, put piggyback. Out on road, them loving my style. Them on them one did just for die, and then they dance with the skin out tie, yo. And when I come out, girl, suicide. Oh, listen. So listen. So Nikki over there with Papa Bear. So you see her, little cute baby. They over in Paris. We oui, we oui, raggedy. Time for you to hit the bench. All right. So she over there. She over there. 
And then she got the fandom over there. You see Khalil, them creech down, creech down. And then she over there with her parry fandom. And then she went, she getting carried away like she overreacted. Getting carried away like she overreacted. And then everybody, you know, Nikki was posting some videos this week on social media that had people questioning the state of her relationship, even me. I mean, when you put things out there, people speculate and people go and talk about it. I don't feel bad for talking, for, for questioning and, and building conversation around anything. Now, I didn't leave that video up when I did that quick live that day when Nikki posted that um, video or whatever the case may be. But she's getting carried away like she overreacted by her babe. To me, that seems like she's in love. This is why you can't never take anything serious that a person does online. Also, we all have moments as human beings. You know what I'm saying? We all have moments. Hold on. We all have moments. We all go through things. I mean, have you ever been in love? Have you ever had that one moment in the day where you could have been mad and, you know, um, emotions could have been high and, you know, you could have felt a certain type of way. And we all are entitled to our feelings. See, I think like one of the things where you're really in love, it's not about getting mad with a person and breaking up immediately. You might be mad. Anger is a natural emotion. This is why I don't like when people talk about being positive and being negative. Sometimes you need that. You need negative, a negative um, response sometimes is needed you know uh it changes things like based on based on how you do it right but i just hate this whole positive negative or whatever we feel the effects of both of them and i feel like people live in a delusional world where they try to make it seem like every day is supposed to be positive every day should have positive points in the day but you're gonna have your highs and your lows it's all about how you manage them you understand what i'm saying so listen happy pink birthday Every girl with a blood clot birthday song. What's next? Cardi gonna have a birthday song too? Happy pink birthday. This is your boy, LaRon, Potent Ponder. And leave your comments below. Subscribe to the channel. And yeah, I'm up out of here.